guys, welcome to the Creative Cape Town podcast, and we have Denzel here. Uh, he's from 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 Strand area. Oh, okay. yeah, Strand. Originally from Paul. Uh, I saw there's a there's a um, like when you went to school, you didn't went to a, one of the schools here. Uh, like, no, was no, like, no. Uh, Glen Niederberg and Paul. Paul. Because I I thought myself like because I've I've actually um how I've become like known like your name mm-hmm. is um my cousin's name is um. Moki, uh, what's your name? <laughs> um, um, Carlo. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Yes. Me and him were. Uh, so he has all the tattoos on his arm and stuff, and he always said, no, Denzel, with the, with the flowers and uh, stuff like that. He says, no, Denzel, that old tattoo stuff. Oh, so, yeah. <coughs> so yeah, and then, um, you can just maybe explain about, like, say, uh, um, where you grow up and, like, um, which area you predominantly like. Um, um, so I was born and raised in Pau. Um, I've been living in Strand maybe for the past uh, 12 years now or something, something like that. Um, you know, I'm planning on moving to Strand. I have family and eventually I came to be uh, in Strand 12 years later. Um, oh yeah, grew up in Paul, been autistic from a young age. Started tattooing at 15, still in school, but a homemade machine, not like the machines you see here. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Um, like, I noticed, like, like so, like, back then, uh, there was like a few, uh, and there was probably like a, there was a, uh, like a 21st party or someone, and that was already back then, and I didn't mm-hmm. know you were doing tattoos and stuff, and like, so, like you say, yeah, like, um, um, 15 since age of 15, so it's been a while, back, so you've been in the game, oh, yeah. actually. It's, it's now probably what, like 16, 17 years maybe. I think, think this is probably the 17th or 18th year now, something like that. And you've okay. never really um, strayed from from uh, No, like... <laughs> no, actually. But this is quite a funny story. When I tell people the story, they always laugh. Um, I worked at Fruit and Veg for three days, bro. It's the days. only <laughs> other job I had in my entire life. Sure. Besides that, only tattooing since I was 15. So we have been lucky that I didn't need to go get another job, a normal nine to five and shit like that, you know. So I went three days at fruit and veg, but they fired me. I didn't quit. That was the <laughs> <laughs> they fired me for three days. They paid me. This was about, um, I think, two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine, around about the, and they paid me one hundred and fifty rand for three days, bro. <laughs> Money my ways. So what was that now? What, like, was that like probably or just after school maybe? Yeah, that was just after school. So the Zimba type of work when you go in Kessel like? Uh, not really. My mom wanted me to get a job. And I was just like, fuck, I don't want to work. <laughs> I already do tattoos. But look, this was back in the day, bro. I didn't have that steady clientele that I have now. It wasn't like a business kind of thing back in the day. I was just tattooing. I was just having fun with it, even though I was getting paid. But um, yeah, my mom wanted me to get a job. I was like, okay, just to make her happy, I'll go get this job. Um, but it was actually a sign writer's job, so it was kind of in my lane. Mm-hmm. And then the sign writer came back, he was like a fucking nomad, bro. He would just stay out for a week and then come back and just like talk shit with the bosses, like, you can't fire me, fuck you, you need me. And that was the case because they fired me. They were like, no, we can't keep two sign writers on at the same time. You have to go, we're going to stay with him, even though he's fucking crazy man it's like but we trust him and mm. yeah so I went so they fired me <laughs> so, after three days but I can totally see that yeah. it's not the firing mm. but the like um like for me I've never done tattoos but I've mm. always been interested in it mm. I've always watched like you know these documentaries and mm-hmm. all these okay. different type of shows you know mm. and I've always been interested in, in tattooing so if, if I in the early age I started mm. I probably would stick to it because mm. it's I mean it's such a natural transition mm-hmm. as an artist oh, yeah. or as someone is doing <coughs> drawings or whatever just to and it's black and white for starting mm-hmm. you know so with penciling already like mm-hmm. you know oh, yeah. so I can because I mean like you do tattooing stuff probably I mean, it's not a job really it doesn't mm-hmm. maybe feel like it's like yeah a, it's not like I feel pressure oh fuck I have to wake up for work this morning I have to go to work and stuff like that you know, I still do art for a living mm-hmm. which is cool most people don't, mm. you know, so I, I, th- I think I'm extremely lucky, you know, that I just kind of, I just fell into it, it wasn't like a decision, 
looking kind of frightened of that too this one day mm. it's like who thinks of that mm. um, so I just kind of fell into it and it's like fucking 16, 17 years later I'm still tattooing <laughs> come on so tell me um, so um, you who, who's the first person that teaches you like learns and like, like um, I'm or, self or even like like sorry for interrupting you like like, like when you I mean probably you've drawn before you, mm. you know like have you ever like done any like studying on drawing skills or like uh no are you how did you came i know like as kids like as an art like you always like you draw you always mm-hmm. like like we, did someone like guide you like did you study um, this or go to the school or or just draw every day or was this your own is it too, like just really drawing always yeah. what if i have to take it from the beginning yeah as, as kids we all draw um some kids just accelerate more than others um yeah, I just love to draw and um, my parents were always very supportive of that. They were like, shit, you're going to do some art. You, know? you don't care what it is you do, not, you're going to do some art one day. Uh, my grandmother as well, she was like very, she, she hustled my skills to everybody, bro. Oh. So like, um, I remember, I was probably like 10 years old. Um, and... Um, she made me go meet she, she, she knew some people that knew some people shit like oh. that and it was like these people were like look there's a gallery opening um, we're gonna take you and all that meeting some artists there for the evening blah 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 shit like that you know so the family was always supportive in that way look here's a, here's a new sketchbook do some things whatever nice. you want to do nice. so yeah, I think that fueled it a little bit more mm-hmm. and not like kind of throw my talents away Mm, um, like your own asshole. It's actually like a, like contributing. Everyone is contributing and yeah. feeding to the. Oh yeah, so I would say the family at first, and you know when 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 friends start to realize, shit, this this guy's actually, hey, draw me something, man, draw me <laughs> something. So yeah, that fueled it also a little bit. Mm. People wanting the drawings, mm. you know, and you just keep on drawing, drawing, and drawing, and then eventually became tattoos. And so how did that? We 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 the first when you saw like yeah. Is that, you know you can watch it on TV or stuff, mm-hmm. but you see tattoos. But that first interaction, you know, like I'm gonna do this now, like you know, I'm gonna start. Well, th- did you like just yeah. like I'm gonna go and, and and explore this, or did it just fell upon you? Like no, no, it, it just fell upon me. A buddy of mine uh, used to always take my drawings home um, and showed it to a couple of friends at home and shit like that. And uh, his older cousin. His friends had like a, uh, a homemade tattoo machine, and then uh, a schoolmate of ours he wanted to get tattoo. So like, okay, cool, I'm gonna do this. And as I'm drawing the tattoo on, he chickens out eventually, and one of the older guys are like, You know what, come and tattoo me. And that's how I kind of fell into it. And that tattoo took forever to do. The first tattoo, but shit, it was like a two, it wasn't like a big tattoo, it was probably like this mm-hmm. big, bro, like that big. And it took like two days to do that shit. Like, oh, if I had to do something like this today, it probably take me like fucking two hours or something. Was it like? Was it like a? Um, it was like kind of like a demon face. It was a cover up actually. It had like a little small tattoo. Like I can't remember what it was, but it was like it's like a shit tattoo, like a small little tattoo. You can even almost see it anymore. So the first tattoo I ever did was a cover up. So I did the outlines like the first day and. The next day I came back and did the shading, so that was the first tattoo kind of. I can't remember exactly the design, but I know it was kind of like a demonish, devilish kind of face, you know. So that was the first tattoo, and that's how I kind of just fell into it. And this guy was like, you know what, uh, you can keep the machine um, for so long, or whatever, you can use it. Yeah. Tattoo. And that's how I kind of just fell into it, bro. And I'm still tattooing today. <laughs> You know, I noticed like when you when you said now about um the first tattoo took you like two days, mm. which you now now I can probably do it's like two yeah. hours. Good two hours. Yeah. So, like um in that aspect now, what I what I've noticed is like you know like a lot of people um they're always looking for the for the for the budget or the guy mm. who's the cheapest, mm. you know, but like I mean like even that it's a it's a whole different skill. Mm. You know, you can do something, like say, like you said now, for two hours, which you did the first time you did that for two days. Mm. So, 
imagine the, the price point. You mm. know, if you would have charged whatever you charge now for an hour, and if you you can't charge that same money back then mm. for two days, so some people don't understand that process of where you are now. Mm. You can't pay for the same, which is someone else's. That that it's like you can't pay the same because your skill is totally different. Mm. It is. But uh, you can achieve in an hour, and what he can achieve in mm. you see in an hour. Mm. You know. It's yeah. It's, it's totally different. It's like when you start out, you know, you definitely go with it, like oh shit you don't even know what to ask because even back then girl, it was the industry was not what it was today uh, it was like way different we didn't know there wasn't really any tattoo products you could say mm-hmm. so to speak i mean with the needles the obvious stuff and, and stuff like that and nowadays you get like these stencil applicators this wasn't there uh, say maybe 20 years ago basically almost kind of started this wasn't there you had to use speed stick but hold on literally like on the stencil mm-hmm. paper that's how you did your stencil bro or you could use maybe a little bit of dental household products you know mm-hmm. this wasn't there back in the day so the entry so, level now was that's the entry level now was was like low really low like to start bro um I mean anyone can start like yeah. buying a few stuff for like you know, yeah bro it's like Fuck, it's, 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 yo, that, that's a whole another okay. podcast, that's a whole another <laughs> interview, bro. Yeah, it's like, bro, anyone can start tattooing these days, anyone. Back then, it was so hard, bro, nobody wanted to sell anyone anything. You couldn't just be like, hey, uh, go to a tattoo shop or go to a tattoo supplier, hey, where do you get your needles? And they're gonna be like, no, we're not gonna tell you. Because, I mean, there was internet, but you couldn't just go on the internet and be like, that, that, that. Uh, take a lot there's my tattoo kit and there I go tomorrow I start tattoo which is messed up bro because at least I had some artistic background I could draw you know um, I, I mean the way I started it was wrong let's get that out um, it was cut I started at home shut like I mean I still tattoo at home but now you know I have medical ways and all that I do it right I do it the right way um, starting out that way is wrong go get an apprenticeship that's the best way I mean even if I could turn back time you know I would go get an apprenticeship back then um, but yeah it worked out okay for me you know um, but yeah most people these days I think they they're very what's the word I'm looking for I don't want to say naive but yeah, maybe a little naive and then they just be like, I'm gonna start tattooing today. Nobody wants to go work at the best shop anymore. They just wanna be like, I want to tattoo, I wanna start tattooing. I don't care about learning things the right way and all that. So in that aspect I would say like oh, the way it is now, that's a bit cuck, you know. I'm not saying nobody should start tattooing if you want to start it to just do it the right way nobody does it the right way anymore you know mm. everybody starts tattooing on their own these days it's like it's, like, it's crazy bro mm. it's like it's the same as being a doctor you mm. don't see a doctor just when you wake up one day you know what i'm gonna be a doctor today i'm gonna perform surgery on this mm. day, and then what they're gonna kill this person in a matter of seconds mm same with that doing there's a lot of things that could go wrong a lot of things bro uh you could get a messed up tattoo that's <laughs> that, that, that that's that, that's i've seen some no stuff that's stuff not there. even worst case scenario bro you could, yeah. probably, you could probably lose At your least, fucking arm yeah from an infection and shit like that because people don't start that they use mm. the right things especially with these stuff you get on you take a lot to wear but mm. those inks aren't even real tattoo inks like there's some other shit in there that's not meant to go into the mm-hmm. skin and stuff like that so yeah people don't even educate themselves properly first and like you know i wanted to do but let me do a little research oh shit i shouldn't buy these things okay let me go get an apprenticeship it's like mm-hmm. i just want to start i'm gonna start now I'm gonna start tattooing and what the fucked up thing is for me actually what the it's like no one is artistic people just want to start tattooing and it's like you see their art and it's like this person is not artistic mm. like what the fuck 
Mm. It's like you just wanted to start that doing. It's like I say with a doctor thing. Dude, I suck at math. I hate math. Mm. But I don't want to be a doctor because I know I fucking suck at math. Mm. Like this you should know when you draw on a piece of paper, but I'm not that artistic. I don't <laughs> need to tattoo. Mm. You do need to go that route. So it's like, yeah, dude, that's another could go mm. into that conversation mm. so like mm-hmm. like it's mentioned now um, that sounded like a kind of like a like a sort like a introduction to how can someone actually become a tattoo artist mm. so if you have like five mm. points for someone to maybe like start what would you say like maybe five steps need to follow if they want to um i'd say go get an apprenticeship um do it the right way you know um don't be Don't be in a rush to be the best artist today. That's not gonna happen. Go get an apprenticeship. Talk to artists. Go book a session with uh, tattoo artists that you admire, and you know, get tattooed by them. Talk to them. See how they do it. What they do. You know, stuff like that. But um, that is slowly kind of dying out because there's YouTube. You go onto YouTube and you learn how to tattoo in maybe a week, probably. Mm-hmm. If you're that. If you're watching the videos 10 hours a day if you really want to put in the hours so it's possible to just go into YouTube and learn how to tattoo but I'd say if you want to do it the right way go get an apprenticeship you know make sure you're actually an artist don't fool yourself into thinking mm. oh, I can I can do this mm. yeah. I mean there are artists that tattoo good that aren't even artistic mm. um, because it's so easy these days you just uh, go on an app, design a tattoo with all this AI art nonsense and stuff like that. So it's so easy these days to become a tattoo artist when you're not even an artist, you know. Um, so there's an, I, I can't even name five points to start. Um, But just, just go get an apprenticeship, that mm. would be the best thing to do. Right? Mm. You know, learn it the right way. Plus, uh, the art is getting better. If you look at maybe say 20 years ago, 30 years ago, when tattoo guys, art. Yeah, when guys were starting out, um, the tattoos look like shit. But nowadays, people are tattooing for a year and it looks like holy shit, this person has been tattooing for five years, 10 years, or whatever the case may be. So that's fucking good, bro. There are good artists getting into it, you know, and evolving yeah. this art form to the next level. And that's fucking good, bro. You know, uh, an art form needs to go forward as the times mm-hmm. go forward. But with the good comes the bad, unfortunately. One of the things that I've I've been asking a few tattoo artists, you know, like as an I actually kind of also like um, like doing some research on it and asking mm-hmm. them. They say, like you said now, um, don't get an apprentice, get behind the right people mm-hmm. because you can get a bad word, a bad um, name out there mm-hmm. as a tattoo artist. And the, one of the things that they say is the, one of the hardest things to do is a straight line. Dude, a straight line mm. on paper. If you look at this, this is. I mean, this is this kind of free end. Mm. This is. I'd say this is kind of nice and straight. But I mean, if, if if I had to do, this is just a loose case. But if I had mm. to do a nice piece of art, I'd really take my time with it. Doing this on skin, so I'm not a sketchy bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, this is just a sketch, you know. I didn't. I think that's a status. For skits, it's it's okay, but you know if I had to do a nice piece of art, I you know really put my time into it, get a ruler and all that. But doing it on skin, straight lines, but ooh. I mean you do get artists that excel in that, you mm. know, that do line work like like mm. that, and then it's like. But your 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 portraits work works out amazing. Yeah, I lean more towards that kind of stuff. Yeah. The loose, um, the type of like. Mm-hmm. I'm not really. I mean, if someone wants to do some line work, I'll, I'll do it for them. You know, um, it just it just takes a little bit more focus for me to do that type of work. Mm-hmm. Um, where there's a portal or whatever, it's just like flows a little bit more easier oh, yeah, for me. Um, yeah, um, yeah, not really. These uh, these days, especially, uh, people are more into one certain style that they excel at. You know, mm. like you do get the guys that do the line work because they do it so well. The guys that do the portraits because they do it so well. 
uh, so yeah people are more and and that's how you kind of I would say become not famous but really get your name out mm-hmm. there especially because nowadays people look online and if your page looks attractive oh shit look at this oh look at all the portraits it looks so nice it looks so every other picture is a portrait because you specialize in one thing and I'm going to follow you because I want to take you from you so yeah it's 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 like the phone book these days you know the Instagram pages so you, so that's another fucking story mm. the, the, the social media thing coming into the mm. tattoo industry it's a good thing it's a fucking good thing bro mm. you, know, you can just advertise yourself basically mm. but if you're on a better page than most do there you go know, you're booked for the year um, so yeah. uh, I like to do the shading kind of stuff more than so like your, with, with your art and stuff uh, do you see that you still do art like yeah, drawings and, and oil I'm, paintings I'm, and yeah I'm an artist at art um, you know started out with graffiti art basically you know, just drawing on page that's the kind of I think that was the first art form that kind of Speaks to me, to you. Yeah. you know, and even to this day, I, still, I don't think there's some graffiti on the wall. It's definitely um, graffiti but, style. Um, yeah, I still draw graffiti letters and stuff. You mm. know, I still, you, you still need to draw, I think, or paint or whatever it is, you know, um, that helps you with your tattooing. Um, you, you do become a better artist, you know. Um, but but in my case, dude, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a bit lazy as well. Um, because you know now I tattoo all day long and it's like fuck I don't want to draw from 6 to 12 tonight um, sometimes I, do, I am that inspired and that hype that I do you know or I'll draw from 12 to like 4 in the morning or paint or whatever so I, I do try to get those days in mm-hmm. um, I try to draw every day even if it's just like a stupid little sketch you know whatever you need just to keep your mind like the ideas flowing mm. kind of so I, I try to draw um should I haven't I haven't done anything on paper maybe in like a month because I was quite busy this, this past month so it was like kind of um but before that I was drawing like every day besides that doing uh, this kind of just filling up a sketchbook mm. um, stuff like that so I try to draw I need to get back into it do you want to like, maybe like have chip pigeons? Like definitely, bro, definitely. Um, well, if, could, if, it, if I could be really honest now, tattooing isn't what, for me personally, it's like, it's a little, people are a little what too much what they see on the internet. Um, and for me, that's a bit, it's, it's not more like this, I can just draw whatever I want. And that's, that truly makes an artist happy. Say with the commissions like oh you have to just chill a bit for with that for a bit and just kind of focus on where you want to go you know mm-hmm. and that's what i want to do where i want to go kind of mm-hmm. focus do you I know mean, where it is ah uh, dude i don't have a clear vision but you know you think uh, you think of these crazy ideas maybe i'd like to want to own a gallery one day or mm-hmm. something like that you know i don't know um so yeah, we'll see where that goes. Like for now, you d- I just want to do the art first. I just want to take it step by step, you know. Um, I don't paint a lot, so I want to really, really want to get into that, you know. I just want to do fucking 400 paintings, and then I want to go out and say, this is what I've done. I've uh, also seen you know. some people, they use that, um, the gun with the pin inside. It's like a mm. tattoo gun, but mm. it has a, a pin. Oh, oh, away, away, yeah. That's and then like you use a, it on a, on a page. Oh, yeah, it's like a normal paper. Yeah, yeah, it's like it moves like a, yeah, like a tattoo, tattoo machine. I've seen that, yeah, I've seen that. That's good. It's, it's kind of like a, a nice transition. Mm-hmm. It, you know? it is. It is. To like give like to maybe one of your backgrounds because of mm-hmm. that's who you are. And especially if you work with ink, mm-hmm. it's kind of like people will ask you questions because I always believe even like, um, like my... Um, um, I'm actually a graphic designer, mm-hmm. you know, but um, so they will ask you why do you have this logo, why is this name this, mm-hmm. and you they ask you so why do you use ink, why do you use that mm-hmm. thing like you know this is you know, this is who I am, mm-hmm. I'm a tattoo artist, you know. Oh yeah. So so have you ever tried that? Have you ever? Uh no. Maybe I should actually. Um, 
at, at this moment I'm open like to basically kind of anything artistically you know um, see what works see what doesn't work I'm not gonna be like oh I'm just stepping so artist and mm. into artist fuck that we'll just experiment mm. you never know where that's gonna lead um, I don't wanna be be like I said in today's day the industry it works if you have a certain style and a certain look to your tattoos boom there you go bro you're booked for a year um, I don't know why <laughs> but yeah I think it's the attractiveness of mm. just people people feel like they, they need a certain type of style or whatever mm. that they're like oh no this artist can't do that no this artist can't do that oh shit look at this guy this is what I'm looking for mm. so I think it's that um, but um, yeah I don't want to be that artist that just does a certain type of tattoo or a certain type of art you know I, I like doing pencil I like doing oil acrylic mm. I like doing uh, like working with uh, copy markers I like working with whatever I'm just trying out a lot of things at the moment you know same with tattooing I'm just trying out different inks different needles seeing what works better what works good for me you know uh, just trying out different things different machines different ways to do whatever mm. you know so uh, I'm at that point where I'm just I wouldn't say experimenting on people's skin but yeah just you know mm. trying out different things trying different things on different types of paper with different types of things and stuff like that so uh, I'm open to anything at this moment like I said I just want to kind of start somewhere first and just kind of build do some more art before I actually out there you know mm-hmm. so eventually I, like I said I don't know where it's gonna go um, yeah we'll see in the next few years <laughs> in a normal job or like a career or in any um, profession that someone mm-hmm. could do right? there's always different levels mm-hmm. you know like <clears throat> so um, I think I'm lucky someone asked me once um, I don't know this lady um, she just asked me like, she always looked at my art, you know, like commenting and chatting and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, she's actually from Namibia, never met before. And then one one day she just asked me like, like on Instagram, like in the chat groups and stuff, like just in the chat box, and she said, um, um, your art is amazing, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. So, so what's the next level? So I took myself like, sure, never really thought about that, mm-hmm. you know? How are you gonna like, how are you gonna go to the next level? And what is the next level and how can you uplift your art mm-hmm. maybe it's just a style the technique or just to like when someone say like like things or like the tattoo artist mm-hmm. or like like whenever someone talk about cape town you know and they talk about tattoo mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. and and i um, thought about that myself like in my art and my stuff like even though I've been doing art for for some years now and I'm still not really like if to talk mm. about South African artists you know yes yes sorry to interrupt you but I mm. think that would be I, I would I would say that would be the end goal basically mm. um, I don't know what route I'm gonna take uh, but the answer for you is because I'd say that would be that that that's also kind of my thinking is like like you mm. said when they mention Cape Town art mm. my name should pop up you know mm. in conversations mm. based on tattooing or art whatever the case may be so uh, I think so there's ma- I, I don't think that's the next <coughs> level but that's the end goal mm, but I, know. I mean there's there's levels that yeah. can like like say for instance if you're not a good you're not good at getting your name out there mm. but you're like an amazing artist mm. you know in any, any platform that you're working and people's annual name will just grow mm-hmm. you know? or you're good at getting your name out there mm-hmm. or your work is just so many people just want to share it mm. that's the thing so like like people do always do like goals and stuff for, for like the new year or that stuff mm-hmm. right but like for you now like so what's the next thing that you think like can really like change your tattooing or like change your business or like oh dude i don't know um, like I said, I'm I'm just at a point now where I just want to do the art first. Like I try to draw every day just for myself. At this point, um, 
I don't know. There's so many things. Like you said, now you could maybe the art will be just so good that people just want to share it and all that and stuff, or that it'll be that good that people just want to want it and, and all that. So I'm 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 still figuring the exact thing out after that. Um, like I said, yeah. For now, just kind of doing art. Mm-hmm. Um, what will come next? Exactly, I don't know. Um, but definitely to get the art out there, so to speak, you know. Uh, you know, maybe approach some galleries or whatever. Speak to some people. Try to speak to some people. You know, mm-hmm. or s- something like that would be the next step. Just to start talking to people, whatever the case may be. And, but it wants to sell my house, I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know, starting it to be that's it's so easy these days. Go mm-hmm. enter space, uh, open up a social media page for a, like a pop up gallery or something. It's it's on for a weekend, you know. But you have to know people mm-hmm. they want to buy the art. Mm-hmm. So that's the other thing. You know? So it's a but yeah, we'll see, you know. There's ideas, you know, you don't have to do the new thing through other people anymore. So how do you, like say for instance, like how do you plan your day, your week, or your month, or have you have do you have plans outset for say like tattooing and maybe like you say now you would maybe like to do some tuition, maybe there's one you target, maybe maybe you haven't thought about it, or maybe there's like just a meeting greet or one day exhibition thingy, mm. or there's a group where people just kind of chat, chat to a live painting or sketch. Mm. Just actually, just it's actually just to get everyone together. You know? Dude, I've, I've I've thought about a lot of these things that you're mentioning now, um, and it's like, where do I start? That's that's the biggest thing for me. Where do I start? Like, what do I do first? You know, I know I, I know some artist friends and stuff like that, and it's like, <coughs> should we come together? You get some artist friends that you know, blah blah blah, and we just come together and do a thing, like you said, maybe a live painting thing or whatever the case may be. I've even thought about um, teaching kids how to that are artistic, like say maybe, say maybe between the ages of like maybe ten and fifteen, mm-hmm. teach them the fundamentals and stuff like that. I've even thought about doing that, you know. So I don't know. But all uh, of these things, like you mentioned now, no? they take away from you. It is, bro. See. If I go if I go into teaching, what am I doing for myself? Mm-hmm. Nothing. I'm teaching other kids mm-hmm. to. You, you will become known as like the art teacher, mm. tattooers and you know, painter, you're an artist. I mean, yeah, that's not a, a problem, but like you say, you, you start taking away from what I actually want to do. Mm. So, I don't know, maybe one day I'll do that when I'm old, mm. these little kids too. Mm. You know, but I mean, like you say now, <coughs> all the, 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 the social media and stuff changing as well, mm. you know? You can that can actually put you if you do stuff like that and maybe videos or whatever mm-hmm. that can put you on another like a, you can have a steady income from that alone. It is bro, it is just, just from the videos. Mm-hmm. Even if people don't buy your art, mm-hmm. they like your videos. Mm-hmm. Fucking ten thousand views per mm-hmm. TikTok video. Mm-hmm. Monetize that shit. Mm-hmm. There you go. Get some money from that. And you don't even have to sell your art anymore. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's yeah. crazy actually bro, it's crazy. So so like you mentioned also social media and like TikTok and stuff, so which is the platform that you actually like use? Ah, dude, I suck at social media. I know how it works but I'm just too fucking lazy. So which is the, the top five that you use? Um maybe like in the I order post, that you use the one that you use the most, that which is the most important and then maybe like the least. Um I'd say they're all equal for me personally. Mm-hmm. I'd say TikTok is booming right now. If you're on TikTok, if you own a business or whatever it is, if you're trying to get out there, if you're not on TikTok, you should be, definitely. I mean, I do tattoos, what does tattoos have to do with TikTok? But you have to be on there, bro. Um, it's where the world is watching television these days, TikTok. That, that's what entertains the people, and when they scroll, they see your tattoos are, oh shit, in between laughs, there's <coughs> something that I want to see. Give it a like or give it a follow or whatever. So I I'd say I'd say TikTok is the place to be. I usually just post on Instagram and Facebook um, the most. Um, but TikTok is Do you have like a set thing that you do? Like say morning is like like you should media or it's just like as day goes on, you know, I don't, I don't I don't have a 
rituals and stuff like that like this I need to post uh, today at this time and that time I just like whenever I feel like oh shit this is some good content I put it out basically uh, plus I'm lazy I'll go through my phone and I'm like oh shit I should have posted this <laughs> I'm gonna post it now. So yeah, that's the thing. I'm a bit lazy. I know how it works, but fuck, bro, I can't. Plus, I'm, it's like you said, taking away from that. What do you want to be? A social media manager or actually doing the art? So it, it, it's that stuff, because now you have to go edit the videos and stuff like that. But I mean, it is easy, um, but it still takes time. Um, so yeah. Because I'm so late, I used to edit the videos quite intricately, um, like step by step maybe, and like the whole process of the tattoo and even mm-hmm. put like uh, some. There's there's this one where I that I used to do with uh, with uh, my cover ups. It's like this guy talking about magic and shit like that. And I've just created magic, so I was very intricate with it. It took some time, you know. And at the end of the video, he's he's like kind of there again, just popping up saying something I can't remember what it was um, so wait it was like really intricate mm-hmm. and with each movement I used to put uh, like certain things at a certain point so I, I used to take my time but now it's just so easy you can do that through TikTok mm-hmm. and it's like poop poop like a few things I don't even edit them that crazy anymore mm-hmm. just maybe some music and that's it because <laughs> that's how lazy I've become mm-hmm. one of the things that I've, I've found which is quite actually um, that really helps or like which is easy way to do content is green screening you just talk about whatever oh yeah i see that i see a lot of people are doing that because a lot of people don't know what to say they don't know what to record uh, say for instance if you you don't want to be a critic now if you're like if you like when you talk about say you obviously they don't pay attention to mm-hmm. you know you, you have a green screen of that and you say like you know this what is this guy doing uh, or this woman you know i uh, wait you know so that's i think that's an because you just react to mm-hmm. what you see mm-hmm. you know? and also i've, I've learned to not necessarily have to do like you say like tattooing or like art on tiktok as long as you do something on there and your it stuff is, is linked mm-hmm. you know i yeah I've even considered uh, like doing whatever other videos just mm. so that people are drawn to the page and mm. it's like oh shit it's like a tattoo artist now they're checking out the art mm. you know like you have to think through things what can we fill in mm. for your product or products or whatever the case may be mm. um so yeah is there any social media um, platforms that you normally go on for entertainment or what that you normally follow or go look at? TikTok, you know. TikTok. Oh, yeah, TikTok. Um, there's actually just like, literally just like this one guy that I actually, I follow a few people, but there's like this one guy, he's like so fucking, I just like to watch his videos because he just catches on a full amount of cuck it's not it's not even funny but it is funny <laughs> you shouldn't even laugh at the cuck he does he go kids kidnaps this little kid um but the kid's parents are like total pricks they don't even care about the kid so he go takes the kid out of school and takes him shopping and blah 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 and he has like an only fans page and shit like that he's what? just this crazy fucker so i, I did um what, what's his name on tiktok one uh two turn tony or something like that Mm-mm. But uh, I wait, it's like cuck funny, bro. Um, there's this one video, uh, it's called Bagel Day in their house, and he just films his family on Bagel Day, but the, his grandmother comes in, she needs to take a medication, and she's just like drinking a fucking glass of wine and throwing it on the floor. Cuck like that, bro. And it's like the mother's like, why are you fucking drinking this early? And everybody's just like not giving a shit and the mom's just losing her shit because the mother needs to take a medication and she's drinking and it's like, it's like cuck. He just catches on a whole lot of cuck. And the fo- they, they did this TikTok challenge, him and his dad. But the, his dad was standing on the, like, the roof of the car. So the neighbors could see him from their yard. But he had like on a pumpkin... Uh, like a little pumpkin for for pants and they had to do this dance it was like a tiktok challenge or something and the pants fell off and the kids uh, the neighbor's kids saw the dad like butt naked there Ew. and then the neighbors flipped and it was just like a whole thing so uh, they catch on cuck like that so i like to watch that <laughs> <laughs> because that's like fucking it's so extreme i don't know why they they, mm. they never banned him or some shit mm. like that there's no nudity but yeah they catch on so I like to watch that on TikTok. 
But I, I do follow like other artists just to see what they're doing in their videos, mm. um, how they edit them, mm. stuff like that, you know, just to educate myself on mm. a little something. Oh shit, I need to try this, you know. So yeah, um, but yeah, mostly I just use TikTok for my own personal entertainment. <laughs> The last so, so that's why the reason I'm asking you is because of um like what 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 for me like because I did graphic design mm-hmm. that really helped me mm-hmm. like, to market stuff and like um, knowing the business point of like saying how to market yourself. Mm-hmm. So as these all these apps that you have, um, when you use these apps, they all needs to be used in a certain way. Like if you go on YouTube or if you go we go on LinkedIn or Twitter or YouTube, TikTok. You're in a different type of vibe. Mm. You're looking for different stuff. Mm, it is. So when you when you post on those different uh, platforms, you need to post for those people. Mm. Like even for you, I mean, like say for instance, if you go to to maybe a funeral, mm. or if you go to a party, or if you're going to tattoo, you different. Mm, it is. Because that's how the different platforms they. You need to be entertaining if you go on TikTok. Mm. Maybe it's be funny. Maybe it should be a learning process, but it needs to be entertaining. Mm-hmm. So <coughs> when people go to LinkedIn, maybe they think that oh, cool, this is more business wise. You know, mm. are you gonna present there? Mm. Because business people go there. So so yeah, that's how you like use those different platforms to get the right niches across. Because I'm if I'm gonna go to TikTok, if I wanna be entertained, I'm not gonna maybe necessarily look at the maybe say interview or someone that maybe kind of teach me something no that's for you too yeah you see <laughs> so you want to be entertained on tiktok that's all mm, people want on tiktok mm, you know? so you have to even like you said even though your, your video is going to be entertaining but yet informational or mm, educational in some way or whatever the case may be but people want to be entertained on tiktok um what did i say i wanted to say something i want to add something on the YouTube my or TikTok? Mush, my mind is mush, bro. Um, what did I want to say now? You say that someone, someone that actually teaches you, not teaches you, but you, some people you follow. Fuck, I thought like my It'll probably come back to me if it wants to be out there <laughs> in the ether. Um, <laughs> the so, so yeah, man. Um, is there like any um, thing that you need, you think you need to learn? Art wise, what you say? Things I still need to learn. What, which is it? Maybe like as which one? What do you think? Maybe um, I can't think of anything specific, but I definitely need to learn, learn a lot of things. Bro. Even if it's say like business minded or like social media wise, or like even say videography or like you know. Definitely, but there's a lot of things. I mean, I, I teach myself kind of you know mm-hmm. just by uh, if you if you're talking about social media, um, just by looking at other people's pages, what they do, what kind of, this kind of, take from that, especially, like you said with, uh, now this is what I wanted to say, to add to that, um, when I'm on Instagram, I try to post like a carousel, I try to tell a story through pictures, um, when I do a post, because that's, Instagram gives you 10 pictures per post, why not utilize that, tell a story mm-hmm. with 10 pictures. Um, that's what I try to do sometimes, you know, maybe from the idea of the tattoo to the stencil to the stencil on the skin, kind of like that. And, you know, try to tell a story with the tattoo process, even with maybe just like um, these are my machines for the day, and these are the needles, and blah, 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 whatever the case may be. Or this is the whole design process, or whatever the case may be. Um, or this is the second season. So you need to YouTube. Why is it there? It's there mm. to be utilized. You just post one picture per post. Why? Mm. I mean, if you just like you have a normal account, it's cool. Whatever, it's supposed mm. for fun. But I mean, your business or what you want to get out there, you know. I don't always do it, but I always try to do it. Even if I don't have like a story to tell, I always take pictures of my tattoos from different angles, mm. so I can post like five pictures. Mm. Okay, okay, like, oh shit, oh, this is a cool angle. No, that's what's gonna get you the, the angle of the picture for you. Um, <coughs> so yeah so and then you get to TikTok like you said and it's more fun and whatever but still educational um, but I'm lazy like I said I just kind of do 
a little video but what i've noticed is there is because I've, I've been posting i haven't had tiktok long so i've been posting it's like i don't get a lot of views i get it i haven't been there long blah 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 I don't really care just want to get the work out there and i started posting um the, the, how i do the stuff for the end on the skin it's like boom it blew up and i'm like okay i'm gonna try something I'm gonna post another video boom that video blew up so it's like okay you you can find something there if you just kind of post different things because that's what i did i tried to post a certain thing in a certain way okay i'm gonna post the same thing in a different way i'm gonna post that and you just try different things and this, this video is just kind of i'm just gonna post this because i don't have anything to post boom it's like it blew up so you have to kind of find what works for your page what you want to do and all that and shit let the people entertain probably because it blew up a little bit <laughs> so i wait so, so have you have you any have you ever done any um, collaborations? Um, you uh, open to collaborations? Or? Definitely, but I mean, why not? Um, I haven't done any, but yeah, I'm I'm open. You know, like I said, um, at this moment in time, I'm willing to try anything basically, because that's how we were like back then. It's like um, not like it was today. Like I think the older you get, or the more you're in a certain industry, the more you you're tired of certain things and like ah oh, fuck I don't want to do that anymore because um, I say I don't say yes to every tattoo that comes through the door I'll be like no I don't want to do this um, this design you know I don't, you have to make it clear to the people you know because they'll feel like oh shit he doesn't want to tattoo me <laughs> what, what did I do to him you have to be clear about the design you have to be like okay you know what um, I don't want to do this design would you be open to me doing something else on you? Mm. Um, or some, we can still use the elements or we can do something in this vein, but I don't want to do this style or design or whatever the case may be, you know. Um, so, but back then it was like, we were so excited to do anything, basically. Um, and it was like, hey, I did this like two weeks ago. My buddy would say, yeah, I did that, like I did a big back piece with this. And like, oh shit. It's like, you know what, I did this, you know? But today it's like, even if you haven't done a certain thing, you're like, ah, no, that, that, that's not me. I, I don't want to do that style, type of tattoo, or whatever the case may be. But back then, I think it's just the hunger. So excited to just do something, <laughs> anything on anyone. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah. So, uh, um, not that I don't get excited about that. So it's just like, oh, fuck man, this design, no. Especially today with people um, sending you the same designs over and over again. You have to, at a point, be like, you know what, I've done this like 500 times already. Are you sure you want to get this? There's probably like a million people that have this exact tattoo. Let me change it up for you or whatever the case may be. But people are so they've lived with this idea for mm-hmm. maybe like two months three months maybe even a year with the same idea and it's like embedded in their minds they already have it on their skin that exact design i can't change their mind in like five minutes but it's cool at the end of the day it's your body you have to wait for the rest of your life but sometimes the people come back and they're like oh shit, dude i should have listened to you this is a piece of shit that i want you to cover it up so there are those instances where people realize after a year or two years this is bullshit <laughs> but sometimes and sometimes i don't say anything because like i'm fighting a losing battle mm-hmm. and then those people still come back and be like oh shit i made a mistake this is actually a cut design and they're covered up so i uh, sometimes you can sometimes the people don't know what they get <clears throat> it's like and then you realize oh shit you didn't even th- really think about a nice design you're just like probably just googled and wanted to tattoo it's like oh i'm gonna get this and when i tell you look let's do it this way and they're like no i didn't even know what i wanted it's like oh how did you not know what you want it's like so insane <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, 
but that I think these uh, the, back in the day that was that was more of a thing where people didn't really know what they wanted but the internet wasn't as big as it was now so people weren't googling their tattoos you see that came and look, look through like a flip phone yeah bro they looked through <laughs> the books and they, they chose whatever the design was in mm-hmm. the book or whatever or mm-hmm. an idea or something like that you know um, so now it's Google now you have like can google at home and there's no tech to artists in that moment to be like you know what let's do this let's do it this way because like i said now we sit with this idea for two months and now it's stuck you want this design because there are people that are adamant then be like i want this exactly that way it's like okay <laughs> i'll do it exactly like that because i'm i'm not an artist i'm a copy machine <laughs> so that way it's like Like with the with the with the tattooing and stuff, you know, with everything going digital, you know, mm-hmm. and um, um, do you where do you think tattooing is going? Is it gonna be a form of like a laser printer type of thing? Can print Bro, maybe because if you look at what fucking AI art online is all this guy online people, are, it's like a, a thing of snap just like that creating art. And it's like, is it art? Mm-hmm. What did you create? You just put in a few. Keywords in an app, and it's like boom. Because I'm thinking that if someone can re- remove with laser, they can probably have a thing that's that. The, if if someone put 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 the time and money into an idea like that, it's definitely possible. Mm. Maybe within the next five years, maybe within the next ten years, I don't know. Mm. It could go that direction, mm. definitely. Because um, if you look at the past, um, rotaries. I mean, there's always been rotary machines. Um, but I think for the past uh, maybe 15 years or something like that, we had to really become a staple in the industry. The rotary machines and the pen machines kind of like slowly replacing the coil machines. I mean, there's still artists out there that do amazing work that still work with coil machines. It's not the machine, it's just uh, more convenient working with the newer stuff. And especially with the younger generation that are coming in, they're all using the coils and stuff. So, like I said, I'll start. I use coils now and then if I really feel like, like, shit, I'm going to use some coils today. You know, uh, it, it, it's just a classic. Um, but I definitely feel that out today, just for the everyday convenience. Because I'm so busy, it's, 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 it's a game changer, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I get like two to three clients a day, maybe for the day, and then it's like I don't, I don't need the hassle of the coils. I just want to boom, boom, that's it, boom, boom, and everything is disposable as well. I don't clean anything or whatever, um, so it's just like on to the next. Just throw everything away, on to the next. Uh, mm. It's so convenient. Um, so yeah. Like you, like you spoke about the digital, like could maybe one go in that direction? Yeah, like but your own art and stuff have you? Because as dude, if, I you, if you take a picture <laughs> of what it's already kind of digital art, uh, it is. You know? Um, dude, I do everything by hand. I don't even own an iPad, <laughs> um, so I'm extremely even with my tattoos. Everything is t- like stenciled on paper. If I draw it, whatever the case may be. I don't even own a printer, I don't print out any tattoos that I need to do a stencil for mm. so either I'll draw it on the paper or just kind of freehand it mm. if need be uh, so it's like I said I don't even own a printer I don't own an iPad for designing tattoos or Do you anything. feel like you're gonna venture into that? Or? Definitely bro, definitely I'm, Look, I love technology mm. I'm not kind of like, oh, screw this mm. Fuck no bro It mm. makes things so much fucking easier. Mm. <laughs> um, and that's the thing. Why did I move to Rotaries? Because mm. it makes things easier. Why would, it, why, why would I not want an iPad? It's going to make my life easier. I just want to tattoo. I need to focus on the art, the bigger picture. I can't be um, fucking hassling with coils for three hours and drawing for three hours and six hours out of my day. Well, not that long. I'm just kind of. Mm. Um, so now it's a few hours out of my day. What for? Mm. Yeah, I could have spent that time just tattooing, focusing on the tattoo, 
is having a good time. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm struggling with fucking machines and drawings and crap. Mm. So, you know, if you have the time, cool, do it. You know, but definitely, I'm definitely gonna take that route. And have some digital things up in here. Maybe do some AI art and call it my own. <laughs> because I'm what I'm because what I'm thinking is like you know when you do the like. If you do a like a freehand drawing mm. on Selma, mm. and then you catch over, and then it's lost. Mm. Mm. It is. But I'm thinking, if there's a way to digitalize that, maybe take a photo of it, make it black and white, um, con- contrast it so that the sketch actually comes out, and then digitalize that as an art piece on its own, even Dude. if it's not perfect, but it's. I've, 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 it's funny you should mention something like that. Um, I've been thinking about that, you know, maybe it's just kind of, even with uh, the stencils, um, um, even with the stencils, maybe paint it on t-shirts or something. Mm. This is your tattoo if you want, maybe a personalized t-shirt to go with it. Mm. Um, your stencil or your drawing. Mm. Or definitely, yeah. Definitely so I've, I've definitely given that some thought into that mm. type of realm. Like you said, it could even just be made into art printed on some nice paper or whatever mm-hmm. the case may be. Um, so yeah, definitely something with that. Because that, that, that's an art form on its own, the freehand thing. And I didn't even know that. Group. We didn't have stencil, like I said, there was nothing a few years back. We didn't have the stencil paper and stuff like that. So it was just like, you're just gonna draw whatever you want on the skin. I was fucking uh, freehanding portraits, bro. I started in that, dude, that was insane. You sit for like two hours just to do the drawing to make sure it looks like the actual person in the photo. That's a, plus you're working from a photo as well. It's like, it's so mm, cuck. People don't understand that. Yeah. It, it's so cuck, bro. And people bring a photo of someone, but even the photo doesn't even look like that person. They don't understand that. Bro, it's it's so insane. I've seen that. I've, mm. I've fucking seen and that. And if you're gonna like draw or, or paint or tattoo that, it's gonna deter away from that even mm. like the person that I don't know people don't understand it. This doesn't even look like you. And you wanna uh, you wanna do this? It is. <laughs> I've seen that bro and it's like, oh shit, look at this photo, but look at the other photo that you didn't show me or look at this person in real life. This photo looks so different. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Especially with that doing, it's like it's so cuck. If you do a portrait, people have the shittiest photos. Um, I mean, there's there's some apps today that can like um, clear things right up and it looks like a better photo. But if it, the photo is so cuck, it's beyond repair. Um, but you know, you still need a good reference photo just mm. to see the tiniest little detail. But people want this specific photo and it's so blurry and it's so weird and it's like you try to tell them, look, I can do this for you, but I don't want to because um, it's not going to look like that mm. person. I can only do what that's what I always say. Like I can I can only do what I can only do what I see. You know, if I can't see mm. this, and I, I can't do that. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's the it's reference. It's not there in the photo, so you yeah. can't be like, oh, yeah, there's a scar here, but it's like I don't see the scar. Sure. It was just one painting I had to do. You know, and this guy had glasses on. All all the guy. Mm. I had glasses on. Like the angle was like a something like this, like a skew mm. angle. Um, you couldn't see his eyes properly because it was like, like stay parallel, mm-hmm. so you can't see his eyes properly. And then the, the lady asked me to, to use his younger eyes on him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, since it's so many photos of, of his younger eyes, she was. So I photoshopped that thing when I wasn't happy. You know, that thing was a mess. I can imagine bro. how crazy, crazy that looks. That, 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 that guy's probably younger eyes. That guy's probably like, and I need to, I need to remove the glasses mm. and put his younger <laughs> eyes. On. You know. So <laughs> even that, and I didn't even Dude, explain to you, it was just like, what the hell? That's crazy. I, I would have probably said no to something like that. Sure, so that's the thing um, like, uh, like... Look, I, I would have tried. I would have I definitely tried, but I would have been upfront. Look, let's see how this works. If I'm not happy with the Photoshop or whatever, or the drawing, then I'm not going to do it. Mm. But this is a crazy idea. <laughs> I was hectic, man. I was hectic. But at least that, that's not something permanent you have to do on the skin, you know. With mm. me, I have to really be like fucking sure. Do I really want to put this 
weird looking young eyes with an old face guy. and you know on this person's <clears throat> skin you know? there's only so much we can do as artists mm. the difference is everything you might mm. want yeah people don't understand that they just think like this is a photo you can just do it mm. work your magic <laughs> so what so what do you like like what are you into besides your art and stuff like what do you um, do free time like, what do you free do? time bro i don't have much free time i just basically my art is my life bro uh, so like i said i try to draw when i'm free and stuff um my most of my day consists of tattooing basically uh, when I have some free time, dude, I, I love my gaming, uh, so I'm a big gamer, uh, so I'll definitely do that, but that's the cut with the game, I just want to fucking throw it out the door, but because that's time I could have spent time with the sketchbook, bro, now I'm just sitting in front of the TV, uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a big movie buff too, um, I'm a huge movie buff, um, so I love my entertainment basically. Uh, um, yeah, that's basically it when I have some free time. I'm gonna spend time with the family. Um, I would say my kind of my alone time would be when I'm drinking, so to speak. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but I don't drink as much anymore. It was hectic back in the day. But, but you're younger, you know, you're not married and shit like that. Um, I can't keep up anymore, actually. Dude, uh, a, me and a buddy of mine, we f- it was probably like maybe a month and a half ago or something like that yeah maybe around about November or somewhere <clears throat> we fucking drank for a whole weekend bro it's, I can't anymore uh, maybe like 7 years back you, you give me a week and I, I would be fine but now it's like the Monday I feel like I'm fucking dying bro it's like I don't want to love anymore it's like I can't uh, so I don't drink that much anymore Maybe it's just like maybe the Friday or Saturday, but not even hectic, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm trying to play golf at the moment as well, um, just to get get into that as a hobby, mm. you know. Um, and so far, I'm loving it. It's, it's nice. Um, I can't play for shit though. I fucking suck. But uh, just being there, it's, it's like it's so therapeutic, you know. Um, I don't even watch golf. Where do you guys go? Um, the Strand Golf Club. Mm, nice, no? <coughs> um, so yeah, doing that was it was actually really good. It felt good uh, playing some golf. So I really want to get into it on a regular basis. Mm. Um, it's just the time, you know. Um, that's a bit cut for me. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, as long as I'm drawing, I'm happy. And then uh, how many minutes do you do? Was it like? Just depends on. Oh, we've been over an hour already. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, I'll post most of this. Yeah. I'll um, all into one video and then. Um, do you post like, say maybe like maybe like a short clip first? Mm, like I've, coming I've, on Saturday, the new interview. Blah, 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 I, like that. I do look at it and see if there's few stuff I like. Mm. And I post like this thing like on my story, basically the same mm. like. Um, Maybe with you saying something, and mm. I just post that and I tag you also mm. that. And then I'll maybe post some reels as well. Mm. And then um, when, it's, when it's posted, then I'll put it on the story and be everywhere. And, uh, mm. you know? So, but I, my main thing is now is like lining up the interviews, getting mm. that sorted, mm. and then um, looking through, through them and seeing some stuff that people really can catch on, you know, and mm. can maybe learn from something as well. Mm. And then, yeah, I just post those small clips as well. Um, For real. I think what you're doing is cool, bro. Because um, I've also been thinking about doing a podcast like for the past year or so. But just about tattoos, but nothing mm. heavy. Because mm. um, I watched this uh, Books Close podcast, uh, it's an American podcast. Um, and he's just talking to tattoo artists, just having conversations and stuff like mm. that. And I thought about it, it's like there's nothing locally. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, maybe like an obscure little interview here or there with an artist, but nothing about our industry that we can put down on the internet forever. It's just a part of history, man. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was thinking about that, you know, just to... Give you go for it, yeah. You know, 
approach some artists, you know, let's just have a conversation, you know, just, just so we can put it somewhere mm. as a history reference or something, you know, mm. that because if, if you try to research South African tattoo industry, you're not going to find anything on the internet. You have to really go talk to artists that have been tattooing since fucking mm. 1960 something or whatever, mm. you know. And our industry isn't even that big compared to Europe or the States or Australia or wherever. You know, if you Google anything about any tattoo industry in the world, you're gonna find some stuff, bro. Like stuff from 18 fucking 76 and whatever. Um, but South Africa is like, we don't exist as See, a tattoo industry. But the nice thing about that is you've, you've, you've done the research. Mm-hmm. So then you know there's a gap in that market. Mm-hmm. And then what nice is if you start it, you can start it by saying, say maybe um, South African um, tattoo artists mm-hmm. or Cape Town tattoo mm-hmm. because then you have the name already. Mm-hmm. You see, so for Google searching and stuff, you already have the perfect name for mm-hmm. it. Then you can just kick off with saying, get someone that's only if you're good in with, uh, with typing. You can like even this interviews. I can ask someone to care and put this into a like a written mm-hmm. like a post. Oh, wait. I can put on a, um, what you call it on a. On a blog mm-hmm. so people can also go and read it, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, it. Yeah. because the words the words are key people search words mm-hmm. so then you can create that place for someone to, mm-hmm. to go to and, um, and you can even um, categorize it like the line um line on tattoo artists like all the tattoo artists like you know mm-hmm. different no and then, you know or like i'm also gonna do my own um video on youtube and stuff like I'll, i'm gonna start small how to draw a circle, even mm-hmm. if it's freehand from using a what did you call it, a, a, a compass or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even you can Do use that. People are gonna watch anything, you know. People are gonna watch it. So yeah. and from a circle, you go to a straight line. Even if video is five minutes, start mm-hmm. somewhere and move all the way up to mm-hmm. maybe a, a portrait or whatever. Mm-hmm. So um, all I can say is, if you have the idea, just do it. Even mm-hmm. like this, I'm doing. Maybe I told myself, cut maybe one podcast. Like, Mm. I'm not gonna do like like you see I come here it's not like a heavy setup mm. you know and I also like to go to the artist space where they mm. feel more natural and they have their stuff also out so mm. it's you know um, yeah and hopefully also you can get exposure from where I if I post the stuff mm. you can get some exposure as well definitely yeah mm. that's the thing it's like this is basically free advertising so mm. I wouldn't anyone want to do it or be shy or whatever you know. Um, that's how people are, you know. As an artist, like I know back <laughs> in the day with the old banks and stuff like that, but mm. like these days your face is like, you know, mm. it's everything like like people. No, but but that's the thing with the with the banks. You think it's like it's already done. You, you mm. can't really do that anymore. Even if you're like the shy artist, and it's like who is this person? You want to know? It's like mm. you have to be more out there. People gravitate towards that, you know. Mm. Like you're putting us. There's like a little story in your. Instagram posts and whatever, mm. you know, TikToks are fucking amazing. The reason why I also start with podcasts and stuff is because I listen to podcasts almost every day. Mm. When I'm driving, when I'm when I'm painting, when I'm working on cars and stuff, I listen to podcasts like whatever I need to listen to, I listen to stuff. Because sometimes I can't listen to it because I'm trying to do something mm. and I need to focus on what I'm doing. Mm. But when I'm doing something where I don't need to concentrate, then I like could go listen to a podcast you know and then uh, i enjoy listening to like i like documentaries type of stories people tell mm-hmm. you know like so that's why i also like you know what i like doing this people can also listen to it maybe i don't know mm. you know some people can oh, yeah. you, you're putting your kind of your passion that you have for that into your own little thing mm. now when you do that but when you have some love for something it's definitely going to flourish you know mm. so yeah. So, so um, how can people find you, or like, how do people book for tattoos and stuff? Like? Um, the best way to get a booking with me is on WhatsApp. Um, you can message me on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and all the social medias, but the best way is WhatsApp. Um, Where do people look at your work and stuff like? You can find me on Instagram, um, Instagram or Facebook. I post the same stuff. What's the what's the name? Um, so on Instagram you can find me at Denzel Mayer, uh, Denzel Mayer underscore artist 
um, on Facebook, Denzel Mayer the Tattooist, um, and on TikTok you can find me at Tattoo Denzel. Um, so yeah, the best way would be to WhatsApp me. Um, you, like I said, you can message me on Instagram or whatever, um, but I don't really check my my messages on Instagram and stuff. Uh, so it's a be, it's best to WhatsApp me. Uh, Wanna give the number maybe? In the oh, um, it's oh six one oh nine three four eight nine five on WhatsApp. Um, yeah. So you can just check me on WhatsApp and we can have a, like a chat and all that. Um, yeah. So that's the best way to get hold of me. Oh, wait, cool, man. DMs. It's been fun. It's been it's been a learning process as well. Oh, it's, it's been, been a interesting. Fun, well. Um, we've been chatting here like probably it feels like we're starting now, <laughs> but it's but it's already been an hour. But um, Owen, thanks for your time, man. Owen, bro, anytime. Owen, also thanks for the support of my art and stuff. Owen, well, yeah, definitely, bro, definitely. Anytime you support, that's the thing, we should support each other, you know. Like, even if it's something small like a fucking like on Instagram mm-hmm. or just a share or whatever, mm-hmm. you know. Like this stuff, if you want to do this stuff, you can tell me, you can, but I. I actually want to do something like this or we can sort of pop up each other at the back here we just do mm-hmm. something just mm-hmm. chat about whatever oh we're yeah, definitely but whenever you have some free time or whatever i think you can do something i'm always up for some art or whatever just kind of doing mm-hmm. a video because like i had a buddy <coughs> kind of an ex buddy um and uh yeah he was also doing his um he was into tvs and film and stuff like that was his job um and I, like I wanted to go out and just do maybe some graffiti in the evening just do because I saw some videos I th- uh, it's like a channel mm-hmm. where they just follow uh, daggers at night and just tag and I thought oh that's fucking cool but I'd like to do something like just a little video because mm-hmm. like I said there's almost nothing about South African art out there mm-hmm. um, so it's like even I, if I have to do something mm-hmm by my own just kind of mm-hmm. doing a video like that uh just tagging at night or whatever because mm-hmm. yeah the ideas are there it's like just doing it but i think i'm super lazy <laughs> um but it's a new year i think i said i think that should be my my new year's resolution um be less lazy, less lazy. do things bro because i have these ideas and it's like right in front of me everything is there it's like it's so easy these days you know i think we all are we all are um, <coughs> lazy you know but it's that's something that you love to do mm-hmm. you will just do it mm-hmm. if you like say for if you want to do starting say a podcast or if you want to start doing training videos um if you don't like it you're not gonna do it mm-hmm. if you do something that you do like do it as easy the easiest possible way to get it out you know mm-hmm. yeah it is easy bro do it on the phone or whatever quick and easy edit it get it out there mm-hmm. and that's it but i guess i'm too lazy for that <laughs> <laughs> okay but it's been fun um, oh yeah definitely bro it's okay fun. cool um yeah we'll we'll stay in touch and catch up again oh yeah definitely okay, cool also. oh yeah sure.